my name is Scott and I will be discussing IC analysis and its aim. So, IC analysis is short for Immediate Constituent Analysis and it is a system of grammatical analysis that divides sentences into successive layers or constituents until in the final layer, each constituent consists of only a word or meaningful parts of a word. IC analysis was first mentioned by Leonard Bloomfield and developed further by Roland Wells. The process reached a full-blown strategy for analyzing sentence structure in the early works of Noam Chomsky. Given a phrase structure grammar, IC analysis divides up a sentence into major parts or immediate constituents and this Constituents are in turn divided into further immediate constituents. The, the process continues until irreducible constituents are reached. The aim of IC analysis is to analyze each utterance into maximally independent sequences, which is the smallest meaningful units. Thank you, Taz. This is Ira speaking. Now we know what IC analysis is and the aim of it. Let's try this tool to the following sentence. The girl eats popcorn. We indicate this as the sentence. Now, we have to divide it into two, the noun phrase and the verb phrase. The noun phrase is the girl. The verb phrase is eats popcorn. The verb phrase always starts with a verb, and the noun phrase usually is the subject of the sentence. Now we've divided the sentence, it's time for us to divide the phrases. For the noun phrase, we divide the girl into two, the word the and girl. For the verb phrase, it's and popcorn. Now we indicate the word the as the determiner for the word girl. We indicate the girl as the noun and the verb is eats and popcorn is noun. As we divide the sentence into phrases and the phrases into words, we have reached the smallest meaningful units. This tool analyzes the sentence into immediate constituent actor and action. That's how we divided the noun phrase and the verb phrase. The construction inside the immediate constituent must be further analyzed until the final constituents are reached. And that is how you use IC analysis. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something today.